Hi there! Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be comparing the Galaxy A22 and Galaxy A21s. The launch of the Galaxy A22, the successor of the Galaxy A21s, brought improvements to the specifications of the entry-level aligned phones, starting with the value. Among the improvements of the A22 is an increase in storage to twice the capacity of the older model and the new 90Hz Super AMOLED screen. While the Galaxy A21s landed in June 2020, the Galaxy A22 was announced just over a year later, in August 2021. The A21s is found in blue, black, and white colors. The A22 is also found in white, black, green, and violet. Find out what has changed between the devices in this comparison. Galaxy A22 and Galaxy A21s have similar builds and close dimensions, with the 2021 phone being slightly smaller and lighter. Both are plastic with HD Plus resolution screens, with no protection against water, dust, or impacts. The A22 single quote S screen, however, is better in front of its rival, as it is a super mold display with up to 90 Hz refresh, which should make the image of movies and games more fluid. Meanwhile, the A21s has a 60 Hz LCD screen. While the front camera of the A21s is allocated in a hole in the corner of the screen, the A22 has a drop-shaped notch, centered at the top of the display. The main cameras are housed in a module on the back of the device, the same location as the A21s's fingerprint sensor. In the case of the A22, the fingerprint sensor is located on the power button. The camera module has received improvements from one generation to the next. Despite having the same structure with four sensors, the main one being 48 megapixels, the Galaxy A22 single quote S camera has optical stabilization OIS. This feature should guarantee a higher quality of photos, even in environments with an unfavorable light. The videos produced on both cameras can reach full HD resolution at 30 frames per second, and both cameras feature HDR. The depth sensor also has an interesting feature in both devices. For an automatic adjustment that blurs the environment and highlights the photographed object, called Live Focus by Samsung. The camera module of the Galaxy A22 is organized as follows 48MP main f 1.8, 8MP ultra wide f 2.2, 2MP depth f 2.4, 2MP macro f 2.4, and 13MP front f 2.2. Another feature in the sensors of both devices is the bokeh effect present in selfie cameras, which enhances the photos taken by the front camera. These are the sensors present in the Galaxy A21s, 48MP main, f 2.0, 8MP ultra wide, f 2.2, 2MP macro, f 2.4, 2MP depth, f 2.4, and 13MP front, f 2.2. The performance of the smartphones is similar, as both offer 4GB of RAM and 8-core processors that can reach 2GHz of speed. In practice, the performance of the Exynos present in the Galaxy A21s should be slightly higher than the Galaxy A22 single quote S processor. The swapping of Samsung's processor for Mediatek's, however, should contribute to more battery savings in the newer phone. Despite the similarities, there is a big difference in storage. While the Galaxy A21s has 64GB of internal memory, of which only 48.3GB is available to the user, the Galaxy A22 has 128GB, of which 103.6GB is available to the user, more than double that of the rival. To get around the deficiency, both have the possibility of memory expansion via MicroSD card, up to 512GB in the A21s and up to 1TB for the A22. The battery included by Samsung in the two Galaxy is identical, with 5000 mAh. Both the Galaxy A21s and Galaxy A22 should reach a full day of use without the need for recharging. Both also feature fast charging, with 15W sources that can be purchased separately. Another major difference between the devices concerns the Android version. While the A21s comes equipped with Android 10, the A22 already arrives with Android 11. Nevertheless, both are on the list of updates released by Samsung at the end of 2021 and should receive Android 12 along with One UI 4. In addition to visual customization, this system version changes the notifications area. With the update, Samsung promises to implement improvements regarding battery saving, 
the security and privacy area of the cameras and microphones, and the integration of the gesture system present in Android 12. It is worth mentioning that Samsung's policy guarantees security updates for up to four years, so the Galaxy A22 should have an advantage with at least one more year of updates. Both phones can connect to 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks and have Bluetooth 5.0, but only the A22 has NFC, used for proximity payments. One notable evolution was the migration of the fingerprint sensor from the back of the device on the Galaxy A21s, to the power button, on the A22, which makes unlocking the phone more ergonomic. The 3.5mm headphone and USB Type-C connections are also present. The Galaxy A21s is available for purchase and can already be found on Amazon for $159. The Galaxy A22 on the other hand can also be found on Amazon for prices starting at $182. Links to buy are available on video's description page. Here ends our comparison on Galaxy A22 and Galaxy A21s. We hope you find it very useful. If you have any suggestion kindly share with us in the comments section. Also, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Please click on the notification bell in front of the subscribe button to turn on notification for this channel, so as to notify you when I post new video. Thank you for watching.